Hello everyone. Today we'll be looking at how we can implement SEO in our React application. Our goal is to achieve top Google search ranking organically. But there are few concerns. Let's look into it one by one. Can Google crawl our single page application? The answer is no. It can only crawl our index page. Can we set the meta text dynamically? The answer is no. We can only set the meta text for our index.html page. And are we struggling with the application performance in the client browser? If we are facing all of this problem, the solution to this is React SSR, which is React Server Set Rendering. So let's dive into it and see how we can implement it. Let me close this. So here we are in our folder structure. So basically we should have a server folder and inside server folder we should have a server.js file or index.js file. Basically this is our entry point for our node.js application. We should also have a package.json file and routes folder and model folder are optional based on your application. We should also have a folder called client and inside this we should have, a, have our complete react application. So let's go to our visual studio. And in my react application, I have a basic home page and few inner pages. And for the inner pages, I am using react helmet. So if you don't know about react helmet, react helmet is basically a library which helps us to set dynamic metadata for our inner component or pages. So we'll look at one of the examples. For example, I have a page called about us and inside this. I have a wrapper component which is react helmet layout and over here I am passing title description and page link this page link is nothing but canonical link and if we go inside this helmet layout over here we have a component called helmet and here we have few static meta tags and few of them are dynamic so dynamic are being passed from the parameter which is this meta descriptions, canonicals and titles. Once this is all done, what we have to do is we have to generate the bin for our client folder. So for example, I have to go inside my server folder and see the client and I have to generate a bin. As this is getting generated, We'll look at the server code. We have to close this client folder. We'll go inside this server.js. Inside this server.js, we have our normal Monstack application where we are importing MongoDB, Express, uh, cores, and all of these things. I have few routes also routes also defined. So, and this is my MongoDB connections. And this is my routing path. After this is done. What I have to do is I have to call the express and tell the express to serve the static files and this static files will be read from client and inside client we should have a build folder which will be generated after creating this npm run build. Once I have this static file what I have to do is I have to serve it whenever there is an unknown route. So if there is a star route or an index route I will serve this html file index.html file. So if I run server code, npm start so we can see that my server is running at this port. Okay, let me open this. Okay, my build is not yet ready. That is why it is taking time. Let's wait for this build to get completed. Okay, so our build is completed. Let's check the application now. If I go to the same URL. Yeah, our application is getting loaded now. And if I go to any of the pages, which is about us. And if I check the network tab. And if I click refresh. And I'll see that this about us page is coming from server so congratulations we have successfully implemented react server side rendering 
but there is one problem over here you will see that the title is not getting changed the title is static for all of the pages even if i go to the index page the title will remain same the title and meta tags will remain same the reason this is happening because it will only load the index file first and then after it is loaded in the client side it will load the javascript in the client side and it will dynamically change the tags and titles based on our react helmet but what about the first run to resolve this what we have to do is we have to sir manipulate the index.html file and then serve it to the client so how can we manipulate it let's check that let me comment this don't worry i am i'll be adding all of this code in the description you can copy paste it from there i'll uncomment all of this code and i'll explain as well basically what we are doing over here is we are defining three variables and based on our url we are updating this three parameters and this parameters once it is updated we are just getting this file reading this file from the path module okay and this path module i have imported it above here and after reading the file modules and what i am doing is i am just replacing q tags which is canonical link the other one is title and the third one is meta description i am updating all of this and then i am sending that html index.html to the client so now let me save this rerun my node.js application now if we check our application and if i refresh for the about us we are getting this about us in the title and in the even the description is changed this is happening because we have already updated our html index.html file so this was all about server side rendering and implementing seo to deploy this application what we have to do is we have to go to our file server over here inside this folder we have we have to deploy our all the structures for folders for the server and then in, in the client we just need to deploy our build folder that's it no need to add node modules or package.json over here one more thing is once you do all of these things you have to go to the search console and request for indexing of your inner pages what you have to you have to go to url inspection and uh, request your inner pages for indexing for example in this project i am about to request for this about page and it will get indexed so before indexing before implementing this my indexing was something like this so if i do site dot my website i was only able to see the home page but after implementing this server side rendering i was able to see my about page as well if you see now i can see the about page as well so this was all about server side rendering hope you liked it